I'm going to my agency today. Well, I'm leaving soon. I've been here since the 11th of May and I'm going to be leaving on the 13th of August. That is if I don't get a new job later because I could definitely delay my trip anyway. I've been here for two months. In New York, I've seen that the opportunities are much greater than anywhere else I've been working actively, which is only London because when I was in Paris, I didn't have an agency and all that, so I didn't really count it. I'm thinking that New York is a much better place for me for what I want because in London a lot of the jobs I have are streetwear and it's not exactly what I want to do ultimately I want to do high fashion I know that I'm 5'7 but I keep on dreaming as I said in the past if you don't dream there is no way you can achieve them and realize them yeah here I've had so many more castings than in London as well the jobs it was for were more prestigious in my opinion so I had opportunities for Norio, La Mer Fenty Beauty, what else? I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, Urban Outfitters, but that I had in London as well. And it was so funny because right now I'm in the stores in London and I had a casting for Urban Outfitters US. But it would have been so funny that if I would have been in both places. I don't know if it's funny, but it would have been great. I'm just thinking that New York might be the place for me. Right now, at this moment, I'm really missing my home and I oh, can't wait to be back in London because there's my flats, which I have decorated myself and I really, really carefully curated all the furniture that I have. But I am very much thinking of uh, perhaps making myself a home in a new city. We'll see about that. But anyway, I'm rambling so much. Anyway, we're gonna talk about when is the next time for me to come back? What's the best time? I really wanna do fashion week, but guys, I'm 5'7. I know it's not gonna be that easy. So I'm not gonna propose it to my agents because I've just arrived in New York. Nobody knows me yet. I haven't worked for big brands and editorials yet. So maybe now is not my season, but um, perhaps when I get myself a name here, I could propose it to them and be like, is there a way you can you can submit me? But it's a bit different for fashion because if they expect tall models, if an agency sends a short one, it's a bit like, why? We don't do short models, why do you do that? So I would need to be known, I feel like. And it doesn't have to be famous, I think. I need to be known from the casting directors and I appreciate it. And probably that my profile speaks to them, yeah. But we'll see. As I said, dreaming and I will realize that. But you know what, it's so funny because everybody tells me when I tell them that I want to do Fashion Week, they all tell me that it's terrible and that they hate it <laughs> and they would love to do more commercial things. And then a lot of commercial people I talk to tell me they want to do Fashion Week as well. And I'm like, you really want what you don't have, right? But I know that Fashion Week is like, the runways are things I've been wanting to do since the very beginning. And it's actually the first thing I did that made me realize I want to do modeling. It was like a mall center runway, but I just loved it. Uh, I don't know. I'm in day New York. I'm in New York. <laughs> my dreams are there. By the way, I noticed that my French accent has come back <laughs> since I've been here. Sure, it has never left me, but it's gotten way stronger because I'm not surrounded by Brits, so I don't pick up on their accents so much. Which is a shame because I love the British accent. I love the British accent. By the way, I wanted to show you my Airbnb, which I share with four different people. Um, my room is a single bed and I have big windows leading to a backyard garden where I never spend time. But uh, yeah, this is where I've been living for the past two months and a half. It's been a ride, honestly, it's been small at times. It drove me a bit crazy, but it's been a ride. Hello. And I'm ready. Let's go. I'm really early, so gonna wait inside the ones who believed in me I 
Dale will be back in September. Oh, what's this? Water. One thing that could have prevented me from getting more jobs while I was here was my skin. And right now it's... I mainly just have scars and I was going to get a laser treatment. But the thing is that you can only get one a year and I tend to get worse skin in London. So it's better that I do it as soon as I come here if it's still bad by the time I'm back in New York. It's just so funny because I'm not living in London anymore. I'm just going to be here all the time. I'm planning to stay in London for like a month. Not even. Like stay two weeks. Oh, Now I'm going home, have lunch, rest a little, and then after that, later this evening, I will have the appointment for my braids. And then I'm actually having a fitting Friday and I'm working Saturday. And I'm just so happy that I'm being busy, but I think it's too loud here and I'll just talk about it later. <laughs> this lighting is good. I'm walking to have more exercise, even though it's night time. I don't know, I felt confident. Maybe I shouldn't hold my phone like that. <laughs> and I've got a 45 minutes to walk. Well, I don't know, I guess I feel confident. Uh, I've been talking with my agents and I'll be coming back in September and I've already booked everything. Booked the flight, booked the Airbnb. I'm going to be staying in another place because the Airbnb where I'm in is already booked in for the period. But yeah, it's like I'm barely spending time in London now. And I suppose it's what you call a transition period where things are a bit blurry. It's a bit premature for me to completely move here. But it's it's in the thought, you know, it's kind of a process, I suppose. So I did this hair because tomorrow I'm working for Riza. These people are talking too loud. I don't know if I should bring my phone out. There's literally no one here. I don't know why I insist on talking like that and during the night. I run really fast. I think I run really, really fast. World of Riza tomorrow is a high jewelry brand that have adorned the necks of celebrities at the Met Gala, which makes me super excited because it's really, really high profile and prestigious. And I'm so honored to be working with a brand like that. And then I'm working again Saturday. I'll be working for Shopsider. I've seen their ads all the time. Then going to the agency Monday because they want to take Polaris of my hair like that. I had to lower the quality of the video because I don't have any more storage. I'll bring it with me and hopefully I'll find, I'll film more because literally today I didn't film anything. But anyway, we're just talking about stuff. I'm gonna stop doing this now because it's dangerous. I have arrived to my job, the Wall of Riza. 23rd floor, very high buildings in Manhattan. Oh my gosh, look at this view. So high. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, but mostly. Like like yeah, it's um, mostly that, I think. No, but it does kill whenever, like, you do it accidentally and you put, like, your finger inside the hoop and you. Oh, I don't know. I got a bracelet that got caught. But mine's a few. So, like, I was stuck. So, but they only come in red. So, if it's pink, it's a pink sapphire. Yeah.
So it's 7 p.m. right now. We're gonna finish in an hour. I asked if I could have some food and someone went to grab me a salad, which I appreciate a lot. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Everybody's so nice, it's so chill, and the products are really good. And I'm so glad that they let me film. Right, it's done. Got my salad because it was way too big. This video was actually not supposed to be with all the jobs, but it happened to be working when I decided to film. So I'm bringing you with me. And I suppose it's more of a vlog than a chat. So, right, see you there. This is a regular occurrence that I have things to do during the week. I mean, I have had castings, but like two jobs in a week is the first for me in New York because I'm just new to the market, I'm new to the city, and things are just to process, you know? I just want to show you my schedule so you understand it quite clearly that when you're introduced into a new market things can take a bit of a while to pick up this is why staying for three months was kind of necessary but yeah let me just show you right so i arrived the 11th bring out the 29th of july all these jobs into here uh they're Bershka in spain and it was booked from my london agency after that this is the first job i had in in new york and my agent in london who's booking me the spanish ones she asked them to have a break just so that i can take advantage of all the opportunities that are in new york so from then on i stopped going to Bershka, and all these are new york with this one as well for some models it's quite instantaneous and it's really great for them it's just that i think that most models go through a process and i am one of them but I'm, I'm quite excited and i can't wait for it to pick up and i hope it will especially when i will be back in september the thing though is because i've booked it now even though it's not even confirmed but everything is so expensive because it's sort of last minute i suppose or maybe it's like a busy period but everything is just so expensive and I could not find any spots in this Airbnb so I booked something in New Jersey hopefully it's gonna get confirmed because it's just so hard and it was the cheapest one I could find that was still correct right now I am in Williamsburg and I've been loving it it's so nice to be honest it has nothing on London <laughs> so many things that's quite dirty and smelly and it's bothering me but you have really nice coffee shops you have clothing shops as well vintage shops with amazing pieces uh you have the waterfront and i used to go there all the time to read it's just that now it has gotten so so hot that anytime i try to relax i just sweat profusely it's just not a nice experience i discovered this neighborhood maybe next i'll discover something new and something new it'll help me to know if i want to move here what is the neighborhood i preferred so, yeah. my airbnb for my next trip just got confirmed i had two demands that got refused now it's all confirmed i can send to my agents all the details of my flights and of my new address in september and i'm so excited This is Williamsburg Bridge, over there. And I leave for now, somewhere there, perhaps? I'm not sure. Oh my god, I didn't realize how high it was. Oh, it's a pain chocolate. Oh my god, it's my favorite. 
tell me about it. Mm, not the best, to be honest. To be dry. I'm going. <laughs> 10 out of 10. No, 4. Oh four my out of 10. god. This is not Paris. This is disgusting. Is it 4? Oh my god. Joy. Do you want this? <laughs> what are you drinking? Water. 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 From the mountain. <laughs> Everybody looks. Tomorrow's job is for Love Shack Fancy. It's only in the morning and they want my hair to be this texture. So for that I need to blow dry them to make them a bit more straight and then twist them. And you see the results tomorrow. Just shot my first outfit and the rain is making my hair super frizzy i gotta put my hat back on to like tame all this top bits but uh yeah first outfit so cute and i have these shoes super cute i started to shoot like at 11 and i arrived here at 8 but because i think the focus is on the children it's a bit more difficult when you're dealing with kids now I'm waiting for them to come back to give me my next outfits and I'll go back there. We're shooting like in Central Park, um, Upper East Side, and it's mega mega cute. And Ralph Lauren's cafe, oh, I'm gonna buy the plates for my flat in New York. <laughs> talk about how my life has been in New York and it ended up having three jobs and one fitting. I'm so so grateful and thank you so much for watching this video. It means a lot to me and getting up to this time. Well, see you next time. Maybe New York, maybe London. I don't know, probably New York to be honest, but yeah. Oh great!